हरि ओम स्टार्ट विद द प्रेयर ओम समस्त जन कल्याणे निरतं करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचानूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु तमेव माता च पिता तमेव बंधु सखत्मेव विद्याद्रविडमेव मेव तमेव गुरुदेव देव हरि ओम वि आर डूइंग दि सीरी आसेंशियली वाय अद्वैत वेदांत वाट इज अद्वैत वेदांत अंड वै अद्वैत वेदांत दिस इज फ्रम ए पर्स्पेक्टिव ऑफ ए सैंटिस्ट ऐम ए मेटीरियल सैंटिस्ट टाकिंग अबउट नॉन मेटीरियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट वी डिस्कस लास्ट टाइम दैट देर आर टू एस्पेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू अद्वैत एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड माया एंड अविद्या एंड दे आर कंसिडर्ड सेम बै मेनी मेनी आचार्य ऑफ अद्वैत and some differentiate little bit about the advaita versus the maya versus the the avijja and uh, what is avijja what is maya we have discussed little bit and uh, maya is that force by which because of which one can become into transforms into many so there is only one to start with and that's what the scripture says ekameva advitiyam one without a second so there are no difference of any kind sajati vijati swagata beda rahitam that means there is no differentiation of of differentiation of one among them sajati like the within the within the chairs all chairs are one jati and in the chairs you have different types of chairs that kind of difference of within the same species no difference of that kind because only one and there is no difference of different jatis like there is only one so there is no divijatis ja, tables are different from table chairs and so on so forth and there is no sugata veda also according to advaita vedanta because there is no internal differences whereas we mentioned that the other the philosophers like bhagavan ramanuja and madhvacharya they think there is an internal differences and internal differences includes the each jeeva jeeva bhinnatvam and jagat bhinnatvam jeeva jagat bhinnatvam jeeva ishwara bhinnatvam jagat ishwara bhinnatvam and within the jagat there is a bhinnatvam of each object to object all are experience therefore it is part of the the truth and that's what they considered as as the internal differences within the brahman so brahman is one only but in that brahman there are internal differences and each jiva is separate from other jiva even in liberation and size of jiva is as we mentioned it is a 100th of the 100th of the head of the hair at least that it's less than that so that's how they pictureize as sukshmam means it is the smallest whereas the same word sukshmam in advaita it is used as it is subtle subtle means you cannot use your gross tools in order to know that one that's why it's subtle so the body mind the among the body mind and intellect only body is gross because i can use senses in order to know the body but even senses cannot be used to know the if you have a mind or if my mind cannot be seen or cannot be you have to deduct that i have a mind to think sometimes and intellect all that intellect mind ego ankara all that are deductions based on my transactions and that's how i did you that you have your mind because i cannot see your mind and the same way it is subtle enough that it is imperceptible so it is sukshmam and 
the vasanas are even more subtler than the mind because when you go to from waking state to dream state to deep sleep state there's a mind in the waking state there's a mind in the in the in the, in the dream state but even that mind is folded and even from science point that you have only the unconscious state only operating for them it's called unconscious state and but if somebody is sleeping if you put a if you prick their leg or something there is a spontaneous withdrawal and uh, so there is a response to the stimulus but the response is not occurring at the brain level at the they call medulla oblongata where in the sub level where mind is still there at that level to operate at the same time i am not conscious of the experiences that are occurring in the in the deep dream deep sleep state when i go to deep sleep state from my reference there's no world even why because the mind is folded with the mind the world is projected without the mind the mind is, world is not there with the mind either the dream world is projected or the waking world is projected so this projection comes with the mind this is very important because when we go to to maya and avidya says what is the avidya avidya has two aspects that are according to advaita one is avarna shakti and another is vikshepa shakti avarna shakti is covering the knowledge and uh, the vikshepa shakti is projecting something other than what it is so these two aspects play and avidya involves first that i don't know who i am that number one that is non apprehension of the truth and then second one is misapprehension so non apprehension is followed by misapprehension and these are called one is avarna and called vikshepa both are aspects are involved in the avidya so avidya has two components same way maya has also will it to be two components one is the covering another is the projection covering is what covering of the whole world and krishna in fact in fact says even in your awake maya is covering what's a covering covering that absolute truth nature of myself and the world or the ishvara or the brahman so the in the gita it says that the 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 mudam the because of the covering of the of the by the by the avidya that or maya it covers the the perception realization of the ishvara also you cannot recognize him because of the maya and that's why people claim there is no god in the world that's a maya maya is expressing and uh, roman said there is no god in the world is like saying that at the top of your voice that i don't have a a tongue to speak and he is screaming at the top of his voice the very fact that he is screaming proves that he has a tongue to speak the very fact that he is able to say even express that there is no god in the world proves that there is a god in the world because without the presence of the god he cannot even express it and that's he cannot be not be alive also because with the presence of the lord makes the matter only one aham vaishvanaro bhutva paninam deham asritah pranapana so pranapana samayukta pachamyannam chaturvidham so i i am the one as a vaishvara vaishvanara in all beings present as vaishvanara making them act to pranapana vyana udaran samana all physiological functions are happening only because of my presence there i am the one who is doing it so we eat dump all the things into a stomach and we sleep but lord has to be awake whole night to digest whatever we have dumped and how does he do it as a vaishwarana he makes the digestive parts in the methodically whatever the yeah, gastric juices have to come in proper order enzymes have to be there all that according to the the equipment that he has made it to function properly and that has to function as long as the life is there life is there as long as la- the lord is enlivening it that's how the presence of vaishwanara also 
so point is that it covers the maya covers the the jnanam here the jnanam is what is the absolute nature is covered by that so avarna shakti is there for both avijja and maya and if they are same then it's avarna shakti is there that means avarna means covering it and vikshepa shakti is important to see is it same as avijja or different from avijja and in this there is a uh, general the traditional according to shankara's tradition that they are same and so avijja itself manifest as the vikshepa shakti that means projecting power but some uh, some acharyas also differ to some extent although the essence is the same so let's look at this problem so when do i project the waking world and the dream world so fact our from based on our own experience when i go to deep sleep state i am not projecting anything so vikshepa is not there and what is there is avarna because it is covering everything so it's covering of what covering of complete knowledge that i have since the mind is folded without the mind knowledge that are there in the mind cannot be projected so because of the absence of the mind there is no projection of the world also that's why the mandukya talk starts is kanchana kamam kamayata na swapnam pachata he does not have any desire for any object because he cannot see any object there is no subject object reality because the mind is not there and also there is no not only the waking state or even the dream state is also not there therefore he does not see swapnam also the no projection of the of the dream state also no waking state there is no plurality whatsoever either at the transactional level yavaharika satyam or at the pratibhasika satyam because the mind is required to project it this is a fundamental aspect involved based on the experience alone let's not worry about the theories based on the experience if the mind is not there no projection so if we also say therefore the, the avijja is covering it for vikshepa we need the mind so we need the mind to project it then only we see plurality without the mind no plurality so therefore the vikshepa sect comes is due to projecting power where one appearing as though many or suddenly there is an appearance of one mind seeing many things also so whether the srushti creation whether the mind makes it or somebody has made it but i cannot perceive it or the existence of the world is not recognized unless the mind is there so existence of the projected creation cannot be perceived without the mind so in that sense so we can say avijja ignorance is different from maya so maya comes into picture in terms of projecting everything and therefore it has a the uh, the vikshepa shakti comes from the from the maya and it's the, the in the in the case of an individual there are two types of projections that you can see one is ishvara srushti another is a jiva srushti so ishvara srushti is not the by the local mind but from the total mind it is created so the ishvara is the one total that is a creation and he is accountable for what it is created whereas the jiva srushti is also there and that's what we call considered as pratibhasika satyam the other one is a vyavaharika satyam so it is an individual mind creates and whether it's a true or imagination of the individual mind separate from the world and all the all the dreams whether the day dreams or night dreams all are by the projection of the individual mind that's called jiva srushti when the mind is awakened or when the mind is gained the knowledge the jiva srushti may get dissolved but not the the ishvara srushti so when i the important thing is when i when i when the 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 classical example of advaita 
for avidya avarana and all that is is seeing the where there is rope is because of the conditions are not conducive for proper perception i am seeing that there is a snake out there and a snake out there came from where from the individual mind what if there is only rope and i don't create a rope first and then snake a snake next that's what some of the the khatiwadas error error in perception that we'll discuss a little bit later but that's one of the 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 atma khyati where i project the outside something and then perceive it so why do you project a snake when there is a rope and when do you project a rope versus a snake so this is not answered in that atma khyati khyati means the error in the perception khyati vadas but anyway i i am projecting a snake where the rope is that projection of the snake is a jiva srushti so when i see with a with a proper light hey this is not a snake when the rope then what happens i the jiva srushti which is misconception the the projected error goes away it's an error because it's not the truth and the projected error goes away and what remains is rope which is ishwara srushti so this rope will not disappear rope will disappear only somebody takes out so the ishwara srushti is not destroyed but the jiva srushti the confusion that arose because of avidya because of the ignorance by the jiva srushti that gets eliminated so we are now differentiating avidya and maya so avidya is at the locust in the in the jiva and jiva is part of the total creation therefore there is an avidya in the totality also and each jiva whoever not realize has its own his own projection so avidya which may be a fundamental that he doesn't know who he is at each individual levels and since the ishvara includes the totality that includes the jivas with the avidya also and that is a part of the total projection of ishvara ishvara srushti when jiva realizes a particular jiva realizes he realizes that it is a rope and not a snake so that particular jiva has no misconceptions that it is a rope it is a snake at is that particular object so he is his ignorance is fully completely eliminated but that doesn't, doesn't eliminate the rope it rope is the truth from his point it's not negated true rope is not negated only snake is negated that is because the snake is projected by the individual mind and that individual mind has a gnanam gnanam destroys the ignorance so ignorance that it is a is a due to the ignorance of the individual there is a projection of the snake so jiva srushti involves a, a capacity of the mind to project it how does it project based on the the attributes of the object we'll come back again in terms of object perception and ep- epistemological issues but here it is suffice to say that there is a jiva srushti and a jiva srushti in that jiva srushti there are errors in the perception errors in the in the knowledge and that's called brahma brahma means knowledge valid knowledge brahma means invalid knowledge so brahma can be eliminated by having a proper prama our proper pramana through proper pramana eliminates the previous misconceptions so when i see properly the pramana is operating now that i can see it is a rope not a snake as i thought it was before so avidya is not knowing that it is a rope second is projecting something other than rope where the rope is is vichepa projection and projection comes with the mind supported by consciousness it is the mind that sees it's a snake how does it doesn't say it is a mountain why it is mountain mountain because there is no the sadrushyam is not there that means similarity between mountain and the rope is not there where there is a similarity between the snake and the rope we'll come back to this but the point is the individual misconceptions like projection of a snake where the rope is will be removed permanently once the knowledge at that individual takes place 
same way individual projection that i am a jiva goes away when, when that individual mind recognize that i am the total pure satchidananda swarupam then the misconceptions that are generated goes away but not the vikshepa vikshepa is creation the creation is not by the individual jiva but by the ishvara because the individual jiva did not create himself the particular body and the womb and the hair and the hands all that if he has given choice to do he may do it differently but he has to whatever the body that is given to him he can only decorate it or change it or do some exercise and support but things cannot be changed and that's because of the ishvara srushti only so there's an ishvara srushti part there's a jiva srushti part and the jiva srushti comes from the 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 avijja projection of the of the ignorance projection and ishvara srushti is there which is will not be eliminated by the knowledge that it is not really a real we will come back to that so the avijja and maya can be separated into two parts one is maya also covers avijja also covers uh, the maya projects the polarity and avijja does not really project it but law with the mind created by the ishvara projects because the mind has the capacity to project it and therefore projects it you can say it is a jiva srushti using the mind and the consciousness and projects something other than what it is and it can say it is also snake also hey it may be our robe hey it's only robe i am seeing and it may be real knowledge or false knowledge depending upon the 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 subsequently whether it's negated or not that is the criteria so again if i suppose i'm i'm going there and the the i i step on it it's soft and 5 feet and people say there they there may there may be ropes and snakes but i felt it is only a rope so and when i found it further says yes it is indeed rope so i may be projecting either snake or rope so even though the vision is not complete and if it is whether it's a true or not is only depends upon the the whether it's a, gets negated by pramana or not if it doesn't get negated by a by a different pramana or higher pramana then it is truth up to the up to negation process so rope is true and snake is false because rope remains as a rope by using a, a, a different pramana or higher pramana and it doesn't get negated by the process and therefore it remains as the truth compared to a snake which gets negated because now i say it is a robe so avijja we only say they from the locus in the jiva and the maya is locus in the ishvara and ishvara is a uh, parameshwara shakti maya becomes a parameshwara shakti and so, avyakta namni paramesh shakti anadya vidya trigunatmika para karyanumeya sudhiyai vamaya eya jagat sarva midim idam prasuyate so there avidya and maya are equated and that's considered as a maya is the parameshwara shakti so since the maya also covers and it's it's of a divine origin so daivim esha gunamayi mama maya duratsaya so that creation by the ishvara maya you cannot cross over unless you surrender completely to me mame vaye prapadyante mayam etam so eta mayam so that maya can be crossed only by surrendering completely to me we went through that a little bit and therefore we can say maya is different from avijja so in the mandukya upanishad we talk about in the deep sleep state their microcosmic and the macrocosmic aspects are being projected both of the waking state and the dream state and the deep sleep state in the waking state this is my body that's a different body so each body is separate there ekona vimsati mukta with 20 
the 19 gateways I perceive this whole world Ekona Vimshad means one less than 20 and that is 19 that is the five Jnanendriyas, five Panchendriyas, five Pranas so five, 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 fifteen plus mind, intellect, Ankara and Chitta total 19 gateways through which I am interacting in the world therefore those are through which I am performing in the transactions so that's in the waking state the uh, operations of the the Vichepa and transactions are going on and that is part of the Ishvara Srishti because the body mind intellect even individual body mind intellect as well other bodies mind intellect are created when you separate the avidya and maya as the two entities one locus at the individual and the locus with the ishvara so we are saying that in the deep sleep state the or in every in each state there is a micro aspect of it from the jiva level and the macro aspect of it from the totality aspect are discussed in parallel so from the jiva point the individual body my intellect from the the macro aspect it is a virat purusha and that's also discussed in that and the total body of all things put together is called virat purusha so if you go to the dream state and the the total mind of the individual is essentially at the at the local level from the at the global total mind of all beings put together it becomes essentially hiranyagarbha and that's a macroscopic view and if you go to deep sleep state that individual is is covered by the avidya of the individual whereas when individual goes to sleep what happens to ishwara nothing happens to ishwara ishwara is constituting the totality from the totality from the, the particular jiva is going to sleep and other jivas are actively involved so the other jivas are being enlivened and the maya is projected and they are working in the world and the world is creation still remains so the the ishvara srishti goes on only laya means the individual sleep and his world is is closed but from his individual point not only his mind from his reference he cannot see the world also so for him world is closed so therefore from his point there is no difference between maya and avidya because both are one total there is no space there is no time there is no creation and creation comes with the mind along with the mind the whole world also so therefore he can say from his point the creation and maya also manifest through that only and the from his point the whole thing world is also close in him and for him there is no subject object duality so even the maya also only covers that aspect and there is from his point everything is covered but from the ishvara point only individual jiva is sleeping but ishvara also goes to sleep and that's called pralaya that is where so after so many the Brahmaji gets tired and he wants to sleep and that is called pralaya where the whole creation goes into subtle form so then everybody is sleeping together along with the Brahmaji because Brahmaji himself is leaving no creation then and Brahmaji when he gets up again the creation starts so that comes from the pralaya that is the Ishwara himself is going to sleep and that is essentially what we call it uh, as a total and the whole thing of Laya Pralaya goes on and when he gets up again he has to project it and after Brahmaji becomes a uh, hundred years old or something his life span, span according to his one day his whole creation of so many yugas are one day and after he he has to retire and another fellow is waiting for that job and he becomes a Brahmaji and this Brahmaji whether he continues uh, again another Jiva or not depending upon his whether he gained the knowledge or not but anyway so the point here is the Avidya and Maya can be same or different depending upon how you approach the problem from my individual references, Maya is, Avijja is only, covers 
aspect of it and uh, vichepa projection is coming from the from the ishvara and maya and the maya at the local level and the individual level also can be thought of because individual also can project it and he can project have a daydream and dream all sorts of things and he is projecting things that is real also so thus aspect of avidya and maya are together discussed in the in the advaita vedanta to the degree that other philosophers call advaita as maya vadins and we'll come back to that and proceed with in terms of how all it takes place here with this we stop om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om